this is Derek Rose reporting downtown Houston, Texas. I'm talking with a friend of mine, Shreve Gore. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Well, I could be doing better because the city of Houston is back at its old tactics, uh, coming up with new ordinances to attack the homeless population. And that's what we want to talk about today is there's a new ordinance, the encampment ordinance is kind of the nickname that's been given. And I want you to just let everybody at home know what this ordinance is about, um, you know, how it affects the homeless and what they can do about it. So first off, what we've got is we've got a problem with gentrification that's moving into the downtown, actually in the downtown area, in the surrounding downtown area, like Third Ward, uh, Midtown, stuff like that. Um, individuals are complaining about the homeless community that are living under the bridges, especially there at Wheeler, uh, near Wheeler and Caroline. Um, they've got tent, it's tent city, we've got tents that are out there, uh, probably about 30 to 40 tents that are, that are livable that the homeless are living in at this point. And the neighborhood is wanting the homeless to be completely removed from the location out there. So because they've been sending so many emails to the mayor and to city council, uh, to the police department, um, at this point now the city feels like they're pressured to pass an ordinance to criminalize the homeless, which the encampment or, uh, ordinance actually discusses tent structures. They're not going to be able to erect a tent. Um, any possessions that a homeless person has can only be uh, put in a container that's a one cubic, cubic yard. One cubic yard. So if you're thinking about three by three by three, it's it's really nothing. Um, and then they're also indicating that the homeless can no longer use grills. So we, the problem that we have is we can't go out and feed the homeless without a permit. Uh, but the homeless now cannot even prepare and cook their own food anymore. So that's going to leave homeless hungry at that point. And then the last part of the ordinance, which was extremely troubling, was it was indicating that the police can actually arrest an individual who refuses any help, uh, any kind of services, medical or otherwise. Okay, so, and as Sri mentioned, a couple years back here in Houston, we're one of the cities who have the anti-food sharing ordinance where they made it illegal to share food with you know, more than five people at a time without the written permission of the property owner. Food Not Bombs does it every week regardless. Um, and this is just another step in trying to remove people from the, the downtown area, which we've you've seen this going on for years. They have the civility ordinance, which made it illegal to stand or sit in one spot for, you know, between the hours of 7 a.m. and 11 p.m. and the food ordinance and now this encampment ordinance. And I think it's really disturbing the last part that you mentioned that even if, say, an individual chooses to be homeless just by choice, you know, it has nothing to do with their job or them being down the luck, they just want to be out there. If they refuse the services of the city, then they are subject to potential arrest. arrest. I mean, and so that just seems to be kind of crazy saying that you're not free to live on the streets if you choose to. Or, and then coming up with these arbitrary measurements of how much possessions they can have. It just seems right. silly. It seems like a very easy way for the cop to say, well, you didn't follow this right rule, let me arrest you. Right. Then you've got another person with a record. Uh, you know, And then from there, what do they expect them to do? Uh, so it seems like, again, further criminalizing of the homeless population. But what's being done about it? Now, how are we fighting back against this in the city? Well, next Tuesday at 2 p.m., we're asking for people uh, around Houston to meet us at City Hall. And we want to speak to council and try to fight this ordinance. We're also asking people to email the mayor, email uh, the city council representatives, including the at-large positions as well, um, and put pressure on them to not uh, go through with this ordinance. Um, also, the mayor had mentioned about a homeless initiative that they're trying to build on, which mirrors what San Antonio has called the way home. And it's supposed to house anywhere 500 to uh, 800 homeless individuals. Um, they want to impl implement that in Houston, but they don't even have the property picked out yet. So the city is getting ahead of itself by passing these ordinances that is going to criminalize the homeless, but the homeless have nowhere to go. Um, so that is a major problem as well. But yeah, we want to put pressure on the city in order to... Um, in order to push back on the ordinance and say, 